heart is, a, is, is like an umbrella and everything falls under it, various forms of art and um, uh, my primarily the field has been performing arts and, and, and uh, um, filmmaking, sound recording, uh, writing, which is all fall, which all falls under the umbrella of art. Uh, basically, the human basic need, which is the question why I, I always pose to a lot of youngsters who, when I talk to them, I ask them, what is the most important thing in your life? Give me one word answer. So people come up with money, love, parents, sex, food, whatever. And then I tell them, how about saying the most important thing in your life is communication? If I give you all of what you just said, and I take away your ability to communicate, where do you find yourself? Nowhere. Because all our uh, rasas, all the emotions, the, the anger you feel, the, the hatred, the jealousy, the love, the affection, whatever you feel, desire, everything is forever asking for communication. You need to communicate it to somebody. Even if you do not like someone, you have to communicate by just not talking to them or by turning away or by not responding or whatever. That's also communication. So we cannot do without communication. So when we say art, art is a slightly more refined way of communicating a thought which has occurred in your mind and you want others to have a look at it. And it's also open to uh, an amazing plethora of interpretations, you know. And those interpretations basically come from what each one of them has lived with so far up until that point in their lives. So, um, yeah, so basically uh, art, I think, uh, like every other thing is, uh, like I'm, I'm writing a paper on basically for acting, but it, it, it applies here as well, is that everything in the human life we, we do in terms of creating something or whatever is divided into two parts. One is to do with the craft, which we learn from the ones who know better than us. And the other is sensibility. And this is my theory and I firmly believe in it. So craft is something that someone can teach you. Someone can teach you how to paint, how to dance, how to fall, get up, you know, jump, or whatever. It's all craft. Sensibility tells you how much, how much of it you have to do. And that sensibility is basically nothing but the whole lot of common sense that you have developed in your life up until that point, whenever you are trying to create something or interpret something. So a marriage of sensibility and craft is what makes you a good communicator, is what I feel. When you came up with this idea that, you know, we do this and, 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 and then this whole thing of collaborative exhibition where people are collaborating from different, uh, you know, uh, forms of art, that was exciting for me. Since writing uh, is something that I enjoy the most uh, because it's a solitary exercise so you can let yourself completely free with your imagination, imagine whatever, create a world of your own and then try and put it in words. So when I put things in words, there a bit of craft comes in which tells you which words to use and how to use them. But the concept of what I'm going to, uh, you know, sort of eventually come out with is going to do with my sensibility, my common sense. So what is it that I think I must talk about or I, th I think it should be spoken about, you know. So when you came up with this idea, it was exciting and I said, okay, we'll do it. So place doesn't matter, people don't matter because I feel that all of us, and I say it with very firm belief, that all of us walking on this earth, irrespective of our age, profession, region, religion, whatever it is, we are all equally capable. All of us are equally intelligent. Our life basically determines the pattern of our life, depending on where we are born and how we are educated and how we move around and all that. That uh, fortunately, unfortunately determines how much of that intelligence we use and in which areas of life, which is what makes human life interesting. So therefore, my interest in it.